Okay, this is a quick tutorial to show how to edit branch pages on the medicine.org website. First of all, if you haven't already signed up for the website, you need to sign up for an account using the link in the top right hand corner. Once you've done that and you've received the activation email, you can begin the process by logging in. So now that we've logged in, first of all, when you signed up for the um, website, you should have chosen what branch you belong to when you did that. If you're not sure, go to the top right again and click view your account. And then we can go to change your details. As you see here, there's a drop down box with all the branches in. And for the purposes of this tutorial, um, I've chosen to be part of a branch called Test Branch. So that's who I belong to, and that's who I'll be able to edit once it's all set up properly. So then we go across here to Branches to choose the list of all the branches. And if we scroll down to Test Branch, you can see I've been set up to allow to edit this page. So next to Test Branch is a little icon with a pencil and a page. So if that's set up fine, it's all hunky dory, you click that. And that will take you to the editing page for your branch. I've only just set this up so it's blank, but normally you would see what's ever on your branch page there. And you can use this toolbar at the top to add formatting to it, so bold and links, etc. If we scroll down slightly, we can see all the projects and campaigns that medicine uh, has in its network and you can tick these boxes to show which ones are active at your branch and then finally click edit the branch page to uh, to make that go live. Now if when you go to this branch listing here you don't see this box by your site um, that by your branch that means you're not at the moment set up to be able to edit to the branch so there's a few things you can do to fix that. So we go to the actual branch page itself which you can do no matter whether you're set up or not. And you'll probably see on most pages um, a heading that says whatever the branch's name is and then committee and then a, a bulleted list of people. So these people that you see here are people who have been set up to edit the branch. So if you don't have editing rights, the first port of call is to find one of these people and uh, your branch and speak to them and then they can set you up. And to do that, what you do is see at the moment I've got editing rights. So that means I can also click this button to see the other members of this branch. You see at the top I have editing rights. And then there is this other person who I want to give who is selected test branch as their branch as well. And I want to give editing rights to them. So what I do is I click the little key by the end of their name and then I type in a role for them. Now it doesn't matter what you type as long as you type something. So we'll say they're the president and we'll give them permissions. So that's come up as president now. So we go back to the branch page. We can see that in this bulleted list there are now two people. So these both myself and this new user both have uh, rights to edit the page so on the branch listing page they'll see that, that both of us will see that icon. Now if you go to um, your branch page and you don't see this at all that means that nobody uh, from your branch has been set up to edit the, the uh, branch page as yet so in that case you need to email uh, webmaster at medicine.org and uh, we can set you up to edit the branch page from there. Now there's a few other things you can do um, when you uh, have signed up for an account on Medicine.org, whether you can edit, whether you've been set up to edit a branch page or not. And these are uh, associating news uh, events and photos with uh, your branch. So we'll just go to the news listing first. You see at the top when you're logged in, 
there's a link that says uh, have you got something that you want to tell the rest of medicine and that's for adding new use so click on that and you can add a new a new new story to go on the site and at the bottom there's a list of drop down boxes and you can choose your branch project or campaign and then when the 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 news item goes on the site um that means that it will also come up on your branch page and be associated with your branch project or campaign depending on what you choose and it's a very similar uh, thing to do for events as well so you go into the events listing and see there when you're logged in have you got an event you'd like to publicize just submit it so we click on that link there and again at the bottom there's these drop down boxes to choose 